so our discussion for today's class will be on null values in a table what do you mean by null values in a table null values mean an attribute with no value in your table a null value represents an attribute with no value so how we are going to understand null value is we have already created this employee table right i have some records in my table so what we are going to do next is we are going to add driving license id column for the employees the only important thing is it's not mandatory for all employees to have a driving license id so there can be some employees without a driving license id so when a value is missing for an employee you can call that to be a null value so can we go and add uh, another column here to our employee table or will you add a column alter table employee you will say add i say d license and then it's a number so i'll give d license number so when i go and check my employee yeah so we have uh, added a driving license column in our employee table now what is the next thing that we have to do the next thing that we have to do is we can insert some more employees with the driving license id can you insert another record for an employee with the driving license id can you do that how will you insert another record here so it's insert into employee values so what all values you are going to insert we'll uh, even before inserting let us select the table select staff from employee so that makes our life easy so we'll say insert into employee values and then we'll insert id to be 125 name to be jeff and then we'll have salary to be some 3000 and driving a uh, school is uh, scope the uh, school to be scope driving license i'll give some number here 3456 and uh, we'll close so we have created one record we'll add one more record that is 126 and uh, we can call this guy to be chris and 4000 and uh, we'll we'll use from site school and this driving license id is something else let's give some dummy license id here okay so we have created two records we have inserted that in the table so when i go and select star from employee you can see there are some employees without a driving license id so these employees have null values in their d license column because null means missing value for an attribute so now comes this question how can i view all the employees without a driving license id i want to see only employees without a driving license id so how you are going to do that is you are going to use the is null operator so you can just go with the select star from employee where d license is null so is null will fetch all the records which has null values in the driving license column so we have two employees without a driving license id suppose i want to find all the employees who have a driving license id only employees who have a driving license id how can i do that select star from employee where d license is not null that's it so that's how you use the null and not null operators here so is null is will fetch everything that is null from that particular column not null will fetch every record that is not null in that particular column so null and not null operators we have seen it's a very easy thing so this is the thing we will use is null or is not null display only the first three records from the employee table suppose uh, they ask you this question i want only the first three records from the employee table so each uh, record has got a row number row number 1 row number 2 row number 3 so you can use the row number to print the record say select star from employee where row num is less than 4 so this will print me the very first three records in the employee table if you want the very first record row num is equal to 1 we 
its row num. So you are going to use the row num to print records in the order they are occurring in the table. Okay. So we will see another very very important command the update command. So what is this update command? This is used for modifying an existing record. So there is already a record in the table. You want to modify certain values then you go with the update command. Whereas an insert is used for inserting a new employee record in the table. So let us go and add driving license ID to Satish. So when you go and take a look at this uh, employee uh, table I have created, Satish is without a driving license. So it's an existing record. I want to add update. I will not say add. I want to update driving license for that particular employee. How can I do perform that is it's a simple update command which table I am going to update employee table set is the keyword which column I am going to set the license and then we have to give the value for the column so the license say I am going to set it as some 1111 for which employee I am going to set where id is equal to 123. So whenever you are modifying an existing record, you have to give the search criteria for that record. Here I am searching that record using ID. I go to employee ID 123 and then I set the driving license to all ones in the employee table. Very simple. So when you go, it's updated. So now if I go and select staff from employee where ID is equal to 123, you can see I updated the driving license column for that particular employee and uh, let us uh, talk about more things update school of tom to null is there a tom here maybe we don't have a tom here so let us say satish has left the scope school let us assign scope to null how will you delete that particular value scope so what you can do is you can follow this update employee set which column you're going to set school column is equal to i can give null 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 is a keyword it says nullify that value where id is equal to one two three so one row is updated so we go and do select star from employee you see for satish that school is nullified it's removed from the school suppose i want to view all the uh, employees who doesn't have a school how will I go and view that? Select staff from employee where school is null. So you get Satish whose school is nullified right now. See this uh, issue you will face in your lab exercises. They would have given you null in certain columns when you are inserting the records. What students used to do is they will update things like this update uh, employee set school is equal to they will give in quotes null so now null becomes a character so your database will get updated with the character null it will not be absent it will be with the character null so that becomes a problem and when you search for employees whose school is null you will not get any records because you have some value inside the column so is this clear so now we have another scenario update salary for Satish to 80,000 and school to scope. Now we have two update um, classes here. One is update school to scope. Say Satish joined the school again and the salary is also increased. 80,000 is going to get. So salary to be 80,000 and school to be scope. So one thing is you can run two update commands and update it. Another thing is you can perform that in a simple update command. So it is update employee set what you are going to set the first thing is school is going to be score comma what is the next column you are going to set salary salary is going to be 80,000 where id is equal to 1 2 3 so i have updated two columns for a particular record in one single update statement so we are going to perform this select staff from employee where id is equal to 1 2 3 so you see salary is updated to 80,000 and school is updated to scope. 
so you can give a set of uh, you can update a set of columns for an employee by just separating it with a comma don't give an and that will be an error update employee set school is equal to scope and salary is equal to 80000 will lead to an error okay there is one more very very important thing if you don't give the where clause in an update statement all the columns will be updated with that value very uh, cautious you must be very cautious with this say for instance i am updating the driving license of satish to all twos so if i update employee set t license is equal to 2222 i'm just doing this whereas i'm not giving this condition where id is equal to 123 i just forgot that now what i do is i just enter it says four rows updated and i can go and select staff from employee you can see all the driving license columns in a database got updated to all twos so bringing back them to the original ids will be very difficult you have to run lot of update commands again so you have to be very cautious when you are running an update command you have to give for which employee i am going to update so update command is done can i move forward delete delete is used for deleting a record from the table how you delete a record from the table delete from table name where condition delete from table name will delete all the records in the table so i'll just show you what these commands are let me clear screen delete from employee where id is equal to 123 will delete only the record corresponding to id 123 so the remaining records are there if you want to delete all the records in the table what i do delete from employee i just don't give anything else it's delete from employee will remove all the records in my table but the table structure will remain you can go on insert records later on okay so delete is also done very simple command but please be cautious while you are executing delete from employee you create a big table and you run this all your records are gone you don't you can't get it back again so you can also use delete with a where clause delete employee from site and with a salary less than 10000 from the table delete all the employees from site school who has a salary less than 10000 from the table so we have chris here with salary 4000 from the site school how can you delete this guy delete from employee where school is equal to site and salary less than 10000 it's not salary i have given it as s a l a r so one row is deleted so you can go and select staff from employee so there you see that particular person with a salary less than 10000 from site school got deleted so you can use delete with the where clause and lot of conditions delete all employees from the table delete from table name will delete all the employees from the table is this clear delete so we have covered the very important queries what are those create table alter table rename drop all ddl commands and inserting multiple records at a time inserting single record at a time into the table and uh, what are the things uh, we have covered we have covered select select with the where clause select with the where and so many different operators and then we looked at null and not null finally we went and looked at uh, this particular update command and delete commands very very important commands these commands manage almost all the applications that you are using on a day to day basis you should not have any uh, confusion with how to use an update or delete or select so you also have some inbuilt functions in uh, sql that that uh, minimizes your work for instance i want to find minimum salary maximum salary number of employees average salary total salary i can do that with a simple uh, function here so min max count average and sum so let me go and directly perform this say i want to find the total salary of all the employees is sum of salary from employee oh i will uh, 
rename the salary column how will you rename alter table employee rename column salar to salar5 so i have renamed it now if i do select sum of salary from employee total salary will be displayed 43000 sum of salary is given on the top say i want to give some other value for my column that is displayed instead of sum of salary i want to display it as total salary for that i can use an alias that is i can perform this select sum of salary and then as is a keyword i can give whatever name i want to give to this column total salary from employee so now what is displayed is total salary and then the aggregated value like that you can find min max and average so it's very easy right you can give min salary max salary everything you can use min of salary it's very effective max salary average salary you can do a lot of aggregation here so you see min salary max salary total salary this one more thing we have learned right what is this uh, count used for count is used for counting the number of records so if i just give select count of star from employee two employees we have so sometimes you want to know number of records in the table you can go with a count star you can also count number of values in a column so we'll uh, go and check this select star from employee so you have uh, two columns here say suppose i want to update the school for sam to null how will i do that update employee set school is equal to null where id is equal to 1 to 4 so now one of the uh, schools is updated to null when i perform a count star and school what should be the number of values there select what i'm going to do count number of values in the school column from employee so what's going to return just one because one of the values we have nullified it just now so when you have null values that will not be counted when you are using count function okay count star will count all the records in your table so you have lot of number functions see all these functions we have seen are called number functions because they work on only number data types so you have round truncate ceiling floor power exponential sort sign i'm not going to go and show a demo of all these things i want you to go and explore things on your own so we have lot of number functions here which you can explore on your own